If you go to any freelancing platforms out there and try to hire a content writer to write a 2000 word long article, you will have to spend anywhere from $50 to $400 just as to write that one piece of content. Well, what if I tell you, you can write the exact same 2000 word long article using chat GPT in less than 10 minutes and that too for free. The reason why I'm making this video is that a lot of people use chat GPT to create blog posts the wrong way. Sure, chat GPT will produce some amazing content, but your blog won't stand a chance to rank for it on Google and there's no point in writing these articles in the first place. A lot of people ask chat GPT to do the keyword research, article outlining and generally come up with topics and ideas to write blog posts on their blog and this is probably the biggest mistake that people make while using chat gpt you don't want chat gpt to suggest articles that you want to write on your blog instead you want to make chat gpt write the article that you want in short things like keyword research topical selection article outlining and stuff like that you have to do it yourself and only use chat gpt to write the article using customized prompts and commands let's say you have a brand new blog in the finance or credit card niche and if you ask chat gpt to come up with some topic ideas or do keyword research search to write blog post about then chat gpt will show you something like you know generate keyword ideas like um, best credit card for students credit card interest rate how to build your credit score and a lot more and if you look at the SERP for the top ranking website for the generated keyword, you will find most of them are industry leading media outlets with a DR of 80 or above. With a brand new blog, you don't even stand a chance to make it to the top of the Google. So this is the reason why I ask you not to use chat GPT to do keyword research or topical outlining or topical selection. Instead, you have to do it manually. You will have to find low hanging keywords uh, with a lot of opportunity, with high volumes, low competition, and you have to make sure your blog do stand a chance to win for that, you know, top three or top 10 results for that particular keyword. Chat GPT is only good as the command you give it. If you ask Chat GPT to write a 2000 word long article on a particular topic, sure Chat GPT will generate the content, but most of the like more than 50% of the content will be fluff and nonsense, which wouldn't really make any sense to the users. Instead, you want ChatGPT to write article that meets the searcher intent, solves the user's query and ranks number one on Google. Hey there, I'm Astro here and today in this video, I'm going to show you how to use ChatGPT to write 2000 word long articles or long form content in less than 10 minutes that rank number one on Google. All right, so let's see how to write a blog post using ChatGPT. So I assume you have already used ChatGPT in the past. If not, this right here is the ChatGPT user interface. After you sign up and log into your ChatGPT account, this is how the interface will appear. To the bottom, you can find an input field where you can enter any command or prompt. And this is the section where ChatGPT will give you the response back. So as I mentioned earlier, I have already found a keyword to write a blog post about and I have also outlined uh, the all the H2s of this particular blog post in a Google Doc here. So let me quickly uh, show you how I come up with this uh, H2s or the subtopics for this uh, particular blog post. And by the way, the article we are going to write today is about tips to be a successful YouTuber. So I have jotted down like 10 individual tips to be a successful YouTuber. So to find the subtopics or the outline of the article, all you need to do is copy your uh, target keyword and search for it on Google. And now you have to visit the top uh, five ranking pages for the said keyword. So if you go through each of these pages, you will see a lot of uh, subheadings like this. As you can see, create a YouTube channel, do your research, plan and upload content, optimize the video titles, description and a lot more. If you switch to other articles, you can see a lot of different, uh, you know, the subheadings for the said keyword. So similarly is the case. So what, what I want you to do is go through a bunch of top ranking websites for the given keyword and take ideas as to which are the H2s or related topics that you need to cover for this particular article. So in this case, for the article titled tips to be a successful YouTuber, uh, we have this uh, H2s as define your niche, create a consistent uh, content schedule, make your videos edit uh, pop out, optimize your video titles and descriptions, engage with your audience, promote your channel on social media, collaborate with YouTubers. So in short, these are all the H2s or subheadings that we have mapped out for this particular article. The first part of a blog post is the introduction part. So to write an introduction part for your blog post, you can uh, give chat GPT a command, something like write an introduction uh, for a blog post titled uh, double quotes and give your target keyword in here. So chat GPT will uh, write a introduction part that you can use uh, for your current blog post. 
So chat GPT has written an introduction part for our blog post. So I will copy the required part and then head back to my Google Docs and I'll paste it right here. Oops. Maybe you also want to format it. So I'll just uh, give spacing. So YouTube has become one of the most popular platforms of, for content creators with millions of users uploading and watching videos every day, etc, etc. In this video, we will share some valuable tips and strategies to help you become a successful YouTuber. So the introduction is perfect. Now that we have the introduction done and ready, next is to fill each of these H2s or subheadings. So let's start with the first one, define your niche. So head back to chat GPT and write a command something like this. Write about the topic, the subheading comes here like this, uh, define your niche as a section of a blog post titled 10 tips to be a successful YouTuber. Then hit enter to execute the command. Rather than asking chat GPT to write a paragraph about the given topic, in this case like define your niche, you should give the command in such a way that the, both the subheading and the main topic are included in the same uh, command. So this way you can be sure that chat GPT does not lose track of the content and writes the most optimum content. So using the right command every time is very important to write article using chat GPT. So as you can see by now, chat GPT has generated more than three or four paragraphs on the topic on the subtopic define your niche. So I'll copy this down, head back to my Google Docs and paste it. And this actually is very perfect and there's no fluff and it actually indeed uh, adds true value to this article. So let's now take the next subheading, create a consistent content schedule. So I'll first uh, click the edit button here. Then I'll replace the uh, subheading with the newer one, which is create consistent content schedule. And after that, I'll hit the save and submit button and chat GPT will now start to write an content or a section about create a consistent content schedule as part of the main blog post 10 tips to be a successful youtuber and as you can see chat gpt is now generating the content so chat gpt has finished writing the content for the next subheading for our article and as you can see in here chat gpt has also managed to include a numbered list item here so this is beneficial for when it comes to google ranking side of things as you already know articles with numbered list tables etc tend to perform better than the articles that doesn't have them the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to copy the entire section and i'm going to paste it on to my google docs so i'm going to fast forward and repeat the process for all other subheadings in this article Now I'm done writing content for each of the 10 subheadings on the topic top 10 tips to be a successful YouTuber. While ChatGPT was generating content for some of the subheadings, it started to deviate from the main topic and started to generate fluff and content that did not make any sense. So while copying the content, I avoided all of that and only copy the required content over to Google Docs. So the next step is to use Grammarly or other editing tools and ensure the article is free of any grammar mistakes. Also read the article once and remove any unrelated points that chat GPT might have generated. So I'm done proofreading all these articles and things look very good to me. Finally go through the article once and ensure it covers every point and add something if you missed something. And that's it. You have successfully written a 2500 word long article in chat GPT in less than 10 minutes. Now that I'm done writing the article completely using chat GPT, I'll make sure to leave the Google Docs link to this particular article in the description below so you can check out the quality yourself. So finally, let's check the word count. So let me hit this tool and word count option. And as you can see, uh, chat GPT has managed to create a 2500 word long article in less than uh, 10 minutes. So that's it. So apply the same kind of prompts and commands the next time you want to generate any blog article using chat GPT and it should stay in point and get things right done uh, in the first try itself. And so hope you guys found this video useful. If yes, make sure to subscribe to the channel for similar updates and we'll catch you in the next one.